Welcome in the hills. In the part one, I'm simply going to show you how to install Python and an idle we're going to be using for this course. Uh, we're going to be using PyCharm and uh, the current newest version of Python is uh, 3.10. So that's the version we're going to be working with. So first off, you want to go to python.org and hover over the downloads button. And here you have a button to download the newest Python. Currently, like I said, it's 3.10 and that's the one we'll be working with. So go ahead and press that button here and you should start downloading Python. Once you open the file, this is going to be the window you will be presented with. Uh, you can either just press install now and it will install everything uh, for you or you can customize the installation. However, there can be a certain problems with uh, tip and things like that. Uh, if you use the customized installation and you might have to do some manual changes. So I would recommend to just use install now over here. But before you do that, don't forget to check add Python 3.10 to path because that's going to be important. Uh, downloading some libraries might not work properly unless you actually check that box. So make sure to do that. Once the loading is done, you can go ahead and close the window. And that's it, Python's installed already. Now let's go on to the PyCharm. All the necessary links will be in the description so we don't have to worry about reading the link or anything like that. PyCharm is an IDE made by JetBrains. Uh, go ahead to jetbrains.com slash PyCharm and click the download button. Here we have a choice uh, between professional and community version. Of course, we want to choose the community version because we're not a company. And of course, uh, the professional version is paid. You have to pay it or use the free trial. We're going to use the free version, uh, the community version for pure Python development, as it says here. Once you press the download button, same as with Python, you will start downloading the PyCharm file. Go ahead and open it. Now with the installator open, you want to go ahead and click next. Choose the destination folder you want to install PyCharm in. This isn't as important as the previous one here. You can just put it anywhere and it will work. Uh, you won't have to worry about it later. Uh, so I'm just going to choose the different location and then click next. Here on the next page, you have a few checkboxes you can check, like creating a desktop shortcut and associations with .py. Those two will be most likely the ones you want to check and then press next. On this page, you don't have to do anything. Just leave it as it is and press install. Once the loading is done, PyCharm is now installed. You can just press finish. And we can check now if we actually installed all the correct software by just simply searching Python. And as you can see, we can search Python 3.10. This is the version we installed. Uh, you should also be able to search for idle. As you can see, idle is available as well. This is the default Python ID it comes with, but we're going to be using PyCharm instead. As you can see, it is also successfully installed. You can now use all of this software and start programming in Python. And yeah, uh, that's it. See ya.